Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we have got a fascinating topic to dwell into that is cancer research. Why cancer research is crucial and what is the significant role of bioinformatics and big data biology in cancer research. As you might be knowing, I have done my PhD in breast cancer and I do have 15 year plus experience in applied molecular biology and cancer biology. So in this session, additionally, I will also be providing you some incredible research project ideas, especially for the beginners. And I will also be letting you know what are the skills and tools required to complete such kind of project. So let's get started. Let's first understand what is cancer. In a very basic and layman term, if I say, cancer is a group of disease characterized by uncontrolled division of abnormal cells in the body. These cancer cells can invade nearby tissues and spread to other part of the body, especially through the bloodstream and lymphatic system. There are multiple factors which causes cancer and one very important one is your genetic reasons and mutations. As you know, cancer begins when mutations occur in DNA of cells which disturb its normal growth regulation. These mutations can result from various factors including exposure to carcinogen, genetic predeposition and also due to lifestyle choices. Cancer can affect virtually any part of the body and can take on many different forms and each with its unique characteristic. Now let's understand why cancer research is important. The number one reason is global impact. As you know, cancer is leading cause of death worldwide and research is vital to reduce its impact on public health. The another reason is treatment advancement. Cancer research has led to the groundbreaking treatments including targeted therapies and immunotherapy improving the patient outcome. Although the cost of such kind of treatments are really very costly, so affordable treatment are the need of the art. Another factor is early detection. With global research efforts have resulted in improved early detection method that increases the chance of successful treatment. Along with that, with the advent of omics and big data biology, personalized medicine also very important part here as due to the patient unique genetic and omic profile. Along with that, prevention strategies. Understanding the cause of cancer helps to develop prevention strategies that could significantly reduce the risk of cancer in the future generation. Now let's dive into the exciting world of bioinformatics and big data biology and how they are revolutionizing and impacting the cancer research. The number one factor is data explosion. The advancement in omics like genomics, proteomics, epigenomics, transcriptomics, etc. has generated a massive data set related to cancer that requires computational and bioinformatics analysis. The second factor is data integration. Bioinformatics combine biological data with computational techniques helping researchers and data scientists to uncover the complex pattern related to cancer. Thus, utilizing those information for diagnostic, imaging and therapeutic purpose. Along with that, the next one is molecular profiling. Researcher and data scientist uses bioinformatics to study genetic mutation, gene expression and protein interaction related to cancer cells. And bioinformatics and big data biology is also playing a role in drug discovery. Identifying the potential drug target and designing the new therapy is accelerated through computational and bioinformatics methods. Additionally, it also plays significant role in clinical decision support. Bioinformatics support clinicians in making informed treatment decisions based on patient genetic and omic profile. So if you are interested in pursuing cancer research, especially via cancer bioinformatics, so here are the skills which you might be requiring. The number one is the foundation knowledge of the biology, especially the cancer biology, which includes the understanding about the molecular biology, biochemistry, genetic, cell biology and areas like immunobiology. The next one is programming. Your understanding in programming language like Python and R for data analysis and visualization will be required in handling such kind of cancer research project. The next skill is statistical analysis. A strong statistical skills for interpreting large biological data related to cancer. Along with these, data management skills. Handling and processing large biological data sets will be required in such project. Along with this, your foundation knowledge in biology. 
a solid understanding of cancer biology, molecular genetics, cell biology, biochemistry will be required. And if you want to pursue advanced cancer research, then your understanding in AI and machine learning will also be required. Familiarity with machine learning algorithm for predictive modeling, along with these software proficiency. Mastering the bioinformatics tools and softwares are needed. Most of the scientific research, including your cancer research, will require effective communication skills to collaborate with multidisciplinary teams as cancer research requires interdisciplinary teams most of the time. And if anyone of you who are interested can also enroll in our programming, bioinformatics and cancer research trainings and projects, you can also contact regarding that. Now let's explore seven exciting cancer bioinformatics project ideas, especially for the beginner, along with the journal steps and tools required. So for beginners, you can either start with the genomic mutation analysis. You can analyze the genomic mutation in cancer sample to identify the potential driver mutations. These kind of projects can be done by collecting the data. You can retrieve the genomic data from the bioinformatics resources like Cancer Genome Atlas or from GEO. Then there are plenty of bioinformatics tools that can help you to identify and validate the mutations. You can use Warscan, MuteTag and finally based on the mutation identification and validation, you can do your data visualization. Visualize the mutation and their distribution using the tool like Mutation Mapper. The another significant project you can perform is drug reproposing. You can try to explore exciting drugs for potential cancer treatment by identifying the new drug target interaction. So you can follow these steps. Identify the potential target by using the databases like DGIDB, Binding DB, Drug Bank, Campbell, Zinc, etc. And based on your data analysis related to your targets and ligand, you can perform data integration. Combine the data on the drug, target and cancer pathways. And based on those informations and data, you can perform computational screening. You can employ molecular docking and virtual screening tools to predict interactions. Tools like Autodoc, Pyrex, Biovia Discovery can be utilized for performing such tasks. Along with these, the third research project could be done on single cell RNA sequencing. Analyze the single cell RNA sequencing data to understand the cellular heterogeneity in the cancer. It can be done by data pre-processing. Clean and normalize the data using tools like ScanPy. You can also use cell type identification by cluster cell based on gene expression profiles. You can also include differential expression analysis. Identify the genes differentially expressed in that particular cancer subtype. The next project can be done on protein-protein interaction network. You can either construct protein-protein interaction network to uncover the key player in cancer-related pathway. You can do the data retriever, gather the protein-protein interaction data from the bioinformatics sources like string. Do the network construction, build a network based on interaction and their confidence scores. And based on that, do the functional enrichment analysis. Identify the enriched biological pathway using tools like David or G-Profiler. The next project you can do on cancer subtyping. Cluster cancer sample into subtype based on the molecular profile and study their clinical implication. This can be achieved by clustering analysis, apply clustering algorithms such as NMF or hierarchical clustering. After cluster analysis, you can perform survival analysis, assess the survival difference between the subtypes and based on that, the clinical correlation can be derived. You can explore the clinical characteristic associated with each subtype. The sixth project can be done on metagenomic analysis. Investigate the role of microbiome in cancer by analyzing the metagenomic data. You can start your project by metagenomic profiling. Profile the microbiome using metagenomic sequencing. This data can be derived from the wet lab or from the biological resources or the databases. Later on with these data, you can perform microbiome host interaction study. Identify the interaction between host and microbiome and based on that, you can also do the biomarker discovery. Find the microbial biomarker associated with cancer. 
and lastly you can also do radiomic and imaging analysis you can extract the quantitative feature from the medical images to improve the cancer diagnosis and prognosis here your ai and machine learning can also be integrated so for doing such kind of project you have to start with the image data pre processing pre process the medical image such as ct scans or mris then feature extraction is required you can extract the radiomic features such as texture shape and intensity and based on the predictive modeling build a machine learning models for diagnosis or prognosis we at molex informatics along with our collaborator digibiomic canada provide such ai and ml based projects and training so any one of you who are interested in doing such trainings or project can contact us these bioinformatics project offer a wide range of opportunity to contribute to the cancer research depending on your interest and expertise you can choose any project that aligns with your goals and make a meaningful impact in the fight against cancer each of these project contribute to advancing our knowledge of cancer potentially leading to the better diagnostic treatment and outcome for the cancer patient so that's wrap up for the today in depth exploration of cancer research cancer bioinformatics and along with these exciting project ideas if you have found this video informative give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell and remember if you are passionate about bioinformatics and cancer research don't hesitate to join our training courses where you can dive deeper into these topic and make a real impact in the fight against cancer we also like to hear your thoughts and project ideas in the comment section below so feel free to share your insights and question thank you for tuning in and until next time stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of biotech and bio it